Hello, Richard from BudgetGuitars.com. Guitarists have strong opinions on the Gibson Les Paul. I am a fan of Gibson Les Pauls, I'll just say that. I have two of them, and I also have two Epiphone Les Pauls. Now, both of my Gibsons were from the Tribute series, which is like the, the low-end Les Pauls. Today, we're going to be looking at my 2013 Gibson Les Paul 50s Tribute. I'll tell you five things I like about it, and five things I dislike about it. I bought this from Guitar Center in, I think it was 2017, for $499 used. It had a bit of wear on it, but uh, the rest of the wear was done by me. You know, it's kind of funny how real wear doesn't look as pretty as like fake relic wear, but that's a debate for another video. This guitar is the sound of classic rock. Okay, up until 10 years ago, P90 pickup was sort of made fun of by novice rock guitarists. It was old fashioned, it hummed, and you know, back in the day, guys like Jimmy Page, Ace Frehley, and then later Slash, they played Les Pauls with humbuckers, not P90s. P90 is what you would see in like an old hollow body jazz guitar from the 50s. It was like your grandpa's pickup. It was uncool. I'm not gonna lie. I was one of those kids that grew up watching Ace Frehley and Ian Berenson from the Alan Parsons Project playing Les Pauls with humbuckers. Even guys like Jimmy Page and Jeff Beck, I mean, every picture I saw of them, if they were playing a Les Paul, it had humbuckers. So I thought P90s were basically old fashioned and uncool. I mean, why would I want to play a guitar with grandpa's pickup, you know? I didn't know that like, some of the classic KISS records were made with P90s, and there was a lot of P90s elsewhere in use that I didn't know anything about. But, I mean, honestly, that wouldn't have changed my opinion. No one would have changed my opinion on how stupid P90 pickups were. And quite frankly, years later, I still felt the same way. And then came Phil X. So I was a fan of his videos on the Fretted Americana YouTube channel, and I wanted to learn more about him, which led me to the albums he did as uh, Phil X and the Drills. If you like classic rock, check out Phil X and the Drills. It's amazing. And Phil was playing P90 pickups for most of the time, and it sounded crazy good. It, it sounded like classic rock way better than my humbucker guitars did. I mean, yeah, they're noisy, but when I heard what Phil X did with them, I had to have one. I had to have a guitar with, with like, P90s. And um, as somebody who idolized Ace Frehley and had Epiphone Les Pauls, I always thought that it'd be great to have a Gibson Les Paul, right? I like my Epiphone Les Pauls, but my heroes played Gibsons. They were too expensive, though. But this set up the perfect storm. I wanted a inexpensive Gibson Les Paul, and at some point in time, I wanted to get a guitar with P90s. And then one day in 2017, I walked into Guitar Center, and they had a used 2013 Gibson Les Paul 50s tribute for $499. Those were the days. I took it off the rack. Now, this is back in the day when Guitar Center would let you play almost any guitar. So I sat down in front of a Marshall Combo amp, and I plugged it in, I dialed up like a classic crunch sound, and I started playing. And it literally took me five seconds to come to the conclusion that I would not let go of this guitar until I bought it, okay? It has a slightly bigger neck profile than I normally prefer, but for some reason I just loved the way it played. I couldn't really figure out why. Now all these years later, I know what it was. It was the fretwork. The fretwork was perfect. So this guitar inspired me to record my fourth album, The One Thing. That entire album was this guitar, 50s Tribute, into a PV tube head. And that's why I put this thing on the cover. 
basically like classic rock songs. Side note, I don't want to be perceived as pretending to be more successful than I am. I am a professional web developer who spends most of his free time doing music related stuff like all of this. So I've put out six albums since what, 2004. And if you added up all the money I've made on all six albums, that number would be in the four figure range. So for a serious artist, that would be an entirely failed career. For a serious hobbyist, I'm pretty happy with it. One more thing. If you know your Gibson history, you'll know the 2013 Gibson Les Paul 50s tribute shipped with black pickup covers. And I think knobs too. And I did replace them with these traditional off-white, whatever this color is, pickup covers because I like this look better. Okay, so here are the five pros and cons of the 2013 Gibson Les Paul 50s tribute. Let's start with the five pros. Number one, right now you can get these used for about a grand. And that is $500 than a brand new Gibson Les Paul special, which is not as good as this. Number two, it sounds like classic rock. It sounds amazing. Number three, it will increase in value as the years go by. I mean, mine's pretty beat up. I could still sell it for more than I paid for it. Number four, it looks cool to me. Number five, it's an actual Gibson Les Paul. I always wanted one. It also happens to be a good Gibson Les Paul. Number six, bonus. When you use both pickups together, uh, it sounds almost Strat-like. It's got a really cool sound. Awesome. But now let's talk about the five cons, shall we? Number one, the G string really does go out of tune more often than it should. And this is because of the angle that the string takes from the nut to the tuner, right? It's not a good headstock design. Most Fender and PRS guitars, they go for a straight line to the tuner, right? And they don't have the same issue, the G string issue. Number two, if this guitar falls on its back, this headstock will snap. And that's because of the angle, which you can see here. It's, it's kind of a bad headstock design, let's be honest. There's a lot of Les Pauls with snapped headstocks. Number three, P90 pickups, as cool as they are, they can be noisy. And honestly, I don't gig with this thing. Because in a bar or restaurant, if I use crunch sounds, there, there's too much buzz. Yeah, you can use noise gates, but come on. Number four, if you like skinny necks, you might not like this neck pro profile. Because it's, it's a little beefy. And number five, you need good posture to play this one sitting down because like most Les Pauls, there's no belly cut. So if you don't have good posture, this thing's gonna dig into your rib cage in a way that a Strat or a PRS wouldn't. I have about 20 electric guitars and if I could only keep five, this would make the cut. I love this thing. I'll probably never meet Phil X in person, but if I did, I'd thank him for all those great videos and I would thank him for making me hip to the P90 pickup. As always, thanks for watching. And I will see you again some future Friday at 5.